In solemn silence, the Queen's coffin was borne from Westminster Hall. Onto the gun carriage, pulled by sailors in a tradition begun with the funeral of Queen Victoria. On the coffin, a distillation of this very public yet very personal event, the monarch's crown, orb and scepter, beside favourite flowers chosen by the king and a handwritten note to his mother. King Charles followed the coffin and led his family on the short journey to Westminster Abbey. And on towards the altar, the late Queen's children and grandchildren accompanied now by their spouses and her great-grandchildren, George and Charlotte. We gather from across the nation, from the Commonwealth and from the nations of the world. Some 500 foreign dignitaries were in the Abbey to mark this moment, including the Queen's 14th US President and her 15th British Prime Minister, whom she invited to form a government just two days before her death. But above the politics, she'd been clear that this service should foremost honour her constant Christian faith. It featured her favourite hymn, The Lord is My Shepherd. Service in life, hope in death. All who follow the Queen's example and inspiration of trust and faith in God can with her say, we will meet again. The last post heralded a two-minute silence observed across the country. Before the Queen's piper brought this state funeral to a close, for four days the people had been the spectacle as they queued and filed past the Queen's coffin. Now they were still witnessing an extraordinary spectacle unspooled before them a parade of hundreds of servicemen and women from the UK and the Commonwealth. Over the course of 70 years, Queen Elizabeth II came to embody the idea of monarchy in this country, a symbol and a person woven into the fabric of daily life. For those here now on the streets outside Buckingham Palace, a last chance to say goodbye. Transferred to the state hearse, the coffin's progress slowed again as it neared Windsor Castle. So long in the meticulous planning, this was a day of undeniable beauty, of images grand and intimate. Inside St George's Chapel, the service of committal. British history separated into royal ages, the Jacobean, the Georgian, the Victorian, each defining a particular time, a particular society. The merciful goodness of the Lord endureth for ever and ever. The second Elizabethan age was so long and saw such change it seems to defy that kind of definition. It is now, though, ended. The Queen lowered into the royal vault. Days ago he would have sung this anthem, now it's sung for him. Later, away from the cameras would come the final burial service, closest family laying to rest a matriarch alongside her husband. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, London.